I was in about second grade when I first noticed that I had a really hard time seeing. And I used to sit in like further back in the classroom and I would have to walk up to the front of the classroom all the time to see what was on the blackboard. And um, my mom finally, you know, arranged for me to get glasses. And once the glasses went on, I never took them off. But my vision started changing really rapidly um, and just getting progressively worse and worse. So um, my eye doctor at the time suggested I put uh, get into contact lenses. Um, so I wore rigid gas permeable lenses from the time I was 11 um, up until recently. Towards the end, I had over a minus 10 prescription. So really, really very, very, very nearsighted. Kirsten came to us uh, knowing about the ICL, um, actually before the availability of the EVO, she had a very high degree of nearsightedness and she had a lot of astigmatism as well. Fortunately, we were able to do the ICL surgery on her on both eyes the same day and she did very, very well. However, in one eye, she had a higher degree of astigmatism than was available in the original ICL. I was seeing perfectly out of my left eye, but my right eye was not, it just wasn't, it felt like no matter how near or far things were from my face, I just couldn't see in focus. So afterwards, we were able to actually remove the older ICL and replace it with the EVO model, which had the full correction for her astigmatism. About a month after the first surgery, and he removed the lens and put in a new one, and I remember sitting up from the surgery and looking across the room and I could tell. I mean, I knew that it was right at that point. And um, even the next day when I went in, they asked, you know, what's the lowest line you can see on this? And it was better than 2020. It was amazing. So on the first day afterwards, she's now better than 2020 in the job. Patients are ecstatic. Patients are coming back on their one day post-op. They've driven themselves here without glasses, without contacts. I was able to drive myself to this, uh, the follow-up and it had, hadn't even been 24 hours since the surgery and I was able to see well enough to drive.